Good morning students welcome back to your english class i'm sure everything's well everything's going well you all are good students today we are going to start with the second chapter of your grammar which is prepositions position words prepositions right so we are going to see the classification and all meaning classification of prepositions okay so let's start first of all we should know that what actually prepositions are so let's see the meaning of prepositions a preposition is a word that joins nouns pronouns or phrases to other words in a sentence okay so uh, basically students as the name only suggest preposition pre pehle in position placed it is placed before a noun okay it shows the relationship of those words or phrases with other words in a sentence with regard to space time or reason okay so preposition show you know this preposition word it shows the relationship of the words present in the sentence with other words in the sentence okay it's like showing relationship between the words and the phrases in the sense of time space or reason this we'll see in the kinds okay kinds of prepositions so basically it's a word that joins nouns pronouns to other words in the sentence and it shows the relationship of those words with other words in the sentence okay jo other words in sentence mein unka unse unka relationship batata hai ki what uh, is it telling us about that word okay it usually comes before a noun it comes before a noun not directly before a noun as there may be determiners or adjectives between them okay it comes before noun but it doesn't mean ki exactly ekdam noun se pehle wala word hoga no there may be some determiners or adjectives in between like we met in the arts class okay so here in is the preposition and it is there before the determiner the and adjective arts okay so did you see it is before class word jo ki noun hai usse to pehle hai but uske beech mein kya kya hai the is there determiner and arts is there adjective okay so it is placed before a noun but there may be determiners or adjectives in between okay let's talk about object of preposition what is object of preposition the noun that preposition comes before is called object of preposition that means wo noun jisse pehle preposition aati hai wo object of preposition hota hai the noun that the preposition comes before is the object of preposition okay wo aapka noun jis noun se pehle preposition aati hai that is object of preposition so just see we met in the arts class so here in is the preposition right and class is the noun jisse pehle preposition aayi hai with determiner and adjectives in between okay so class will be the object of preposition because it is the object jisse pehle preposition aayi hai okay so it is the noun jisse pehle preposition aayi hai that's why it would be the object of preposition now let's talk about stranded prepositions what are they when a preposition is not followed by a noun it comes at the end of a sentence when its object is a relative pronoun or an interrogative pronoun like that who which etc so sometimes a preposition is not followed by a noun but it comes at the end of the sentence kahan aata hai it comes at the end of the sentence but at that time uska object of preposition kya hota hai it is a relative pronoun or an interrogative pronoun like you all know these pronouns we have studied pronouns that who which okay so sometimes preposition comes at the end of the sentence and there its object that means object of preposition is a relative pronoun or an interrogative pronoun just see have you found the shoes that you were looking for here the last word for is stranded position it is coming at the end of the sentence and object of preposition is that okay so stranded preposition here is for and object of this stranded preposition here is that so i hope you have understood object of preposition and stranded preposition object of preposition noun that 
द प्रपोजिशन कम्स बिफोर जिससे पहले प्रपोजिशन आती है स्टैंडर्ड प्रपोजिशन वेन प्रपोजिशन कम एट द एंड एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट मे बी एन इंटरग्रेट इंटरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन और रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रपोजिशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर फॉर्म ओके सो प्रपोजिशन कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन टू थ्री बेस्ड ऑन देयर फॉर्म विच आर सिंपल प्रपोजिशन कंपाउंड प्रपोजिशन एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ फ्रेज प्रपोजिशन राइट तो दीज आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ प्रपोजिशन ऑन द बेस बेसिस ऑफ देयर फॉर्म ओके सिंपल कंपाउंड कॉम्प्लेक्स और फ्रेज प्रपोजिशंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सिंपल प्रपोजिशन सिंपल प्रपोजिशन आर सिंगल वर्ड प्रपोजिशन जो आपके नॉर्मल सिंगल वर्ड प्रपोजिशन होती हैं दोज आर सिंपल प्रपोजिशन ओके सिंगल वर्ड लाइक यू कैन हैव नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स इन ऑन एट बाय फ्रॉम अबाउट ओवर अंडर थ्रू टिल अप ऑफ फॉर टू एक्सेट्रा ओके सो दीज ऑल आर सिंगल वर्ड एज यू कैन सी सो सिंगल वर्ड प्रपोजिशन आर सिंपल प्रपोजिशन राइट नाउ लेट्स सी द कंपाउंड प्रपोजिशन सो कंपाउंड प्रपोजिशन वेन टू और मोर वर्ड्स आर कंबाइंड टू मेक वन सिंगल प्रपोजिशन राइट कंपाउंड मीन्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ राइट कंपाउंड मतलब होता है कॉम्बिनेशन सो वेन टू और मोर वर्ड्स आर कंबाइंड टू फॉर्म वन सिंगल प्रपोजिशन ओके जब आप दो वर्ड्स को कंबाइन करते हो टू और मोर वर्ड्स को जस्ट टू फॉर्म सिंगल प्रपोजिशन लाइक इन टू अक्रॉस विदाउट विद इन इन साइड आउटसाइड बिनीथ बिलो बिटवीन बिहाइंड कैन यू सी दे दीज आर फॉर्म यूजिंग टू वर्ड्स ऑल दीज प्रपोजिशन आर फॉर्म फॉर्म यूजिंग टू वर्ड्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स ओके सो कंपाउंड प्रपोजिशन आर द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स टू मेक सिंगल प्रपोजिशन एंड लिसन समटाइम्स दीज मे बी फॉर्म्ड बाय पुटिंग प्रपोजिशन बिफोर अ नाउन एड वर्ब और एन एडजेक्टिव and sometimes these may be formed by putting a preposition before a noun adjective or an adverb okay so compound prepositions are formed it's a like a combination of two or more prepositions to make single preposition okay so students now let's talk about complex or phrase preposition so as the name only suggests it's complex okay the number of words when a group of words does the work of a single preposition जब बहुत सारे वर्ड्स एक सिंगल प्रपोजिशन का वर्क करते हैं दैट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स सम टू वर्ड प्रपोजिशन आर अलॉन्ग विद अकॉर्डिंग टू अपार्ट फ्रॉम बिकॉज ऑफ कॉन्ट्ररी टू रिगार्डलेस ऑफ प्रायर टू ड्यू टू एक्सेप्ट फॉर सो स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर द वर्ड्स विच आर यूज टूगेदर दैट मीन्स टू वर्ड्स आर देयर राइट टू वर्ड प्रपोजिशन बट दे आर गिविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ सिंगल प्रपोजिशन लाइक अलॉन्ग विद Along with एक ही meaning दे रहा है कि इसके साथ ऑल दो देर आर टू वर्ड्स दो वर्ड्स हैं बट इट इज गिविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ वन प्रपोजिशन ओके फॉर्म ऑफ एनी थ्री वर्ड प्रपोजिशन अगर कोई थ्री वर्ड प्रपोजिशन आता है तो उसका फॉर्म क्या होता है प्रपोजिशन पहले प्रपोजिशन आता है फिर नाउन एंड फिर प्रपोजिशन इन रिलेशन टू इन रिलेशन टू इज अ थ्री वर्ड प्रपोजिशन इन प्लेस ऑफ इज ऑल्सो अ थ्री वर्ड प्रपोजिशन इन विच फर्स्ट वन इज इन Preposition, then place, noun, and then preposition of. So complex prepositions are when group of words does the work of single preposition. जब बहुत सारे words, जब group of prepositions, group of words एक single preposition का work करते हैं. They may be two word or they may be three word prepositions. So students, this was the classification according to form. Simple, compound, and complex prepositions right now let's talk about the classification on the basis of their function on the basis of the function prepositions are classified into four types preposition of place preposition of time preposition of direct direction prepositions of cause and purpose okay so now we are going to know about each type in detail first of all let's start with preposition of place students as the name suggest preposition of place these tell us where something is ki kahan pe hai koi cheez right where something is some preposition of place are above below under beside over near on in front of or around okay so these prepositions they are going to tell us where something is the place okay for example there is a fence around the garden 
so did you see students around around here is preposition of place and it is placed before the noun garden but there is a determiner in between the okay so prepositions are always placed before a noun okay there may be determiner or adjectives in between okay so like around around is uh, what is around doing what is it showing it is showing where something is where is the fence around the garden okay so garden is the noun and it is placed preposition is placed pre to noun pre means pehle okay so prepositions of place tell us something that where it is where is that thing so students uh, just see at in and or at in and on are used as prepositions of both place and time so this you need to take care of that some of the prepositions like at in and on these three prepositions are used as prepositions of place also and prepositions of time also right so let's just uh, notice this table at preposition of place we are talking about preposition of place so at it is used uh, to show a specific point or area a particular address before the name of a place this you all know that at is used to you know show a particular or specific point jo aapko pata hai please wait at the reception desk at the matlab kahan pe that particular area reception desk okay so it is used to show a specific point or a particular address you all know before address we use at and before the name of a place right in is used for an enclosed space right in a box okay we waited in the reception hall so enclosed enclosed means you can say uh, in the you know which is enclosed or surrounded or covered from all four sides okay like the jewels are in a box jewels ek box mein hai right a large area like a town or a city ya fir ek bahut bada area like a town or a city so for that we use in i live in kerala in a town called alap let's talk about on it is used for a pop you know for a surface like the soup is on the table right surface hai table uske upar hai soup so before the names of roads and streets it is used before the names of roads and street like this is from a shop on the ring road okay so for uh, you know streets and roads we use on so you should be very careful using these three prepositions because they can be used as preposition of place or time both so this was about place now we are going to talk so again about again as the of name time. suggests preposition of time tell us when right it they tell us uh, when a thing happened or when like some prepositions of time are on in at till during and one more thing you all should remember when we refer to exact time okay jab hum koi exact time ko refer kar rahe hain at that time we say on time okay but when we use in time it shows the exact time before the exact time okay there are uh, you know two things we say like some uh, sometimes we say that on time be on time like so be on time means be like if you have to come at 8 8 am so that means be at 8 am ki 8 am aapko yahan pe hona hai right and if we say be in time that means before the time that you have told like if you say that be in time that means he has or he, she has to reach before 8 o'clock okay like just see at is again used as preposition of place and time so we are talking about time now at to denote a specific point in time we have assembly at 8 am with names of festivals will you visit us at diwali okay now let's talk about in okay in as a preposition of time so in is used to show a period of time or minutes the courier will arrive in 2 hours time of day we have matches in the afternoon that means evening afternoon and all okay season in winters it snows heavily in srinagar okay to uh, to show the season right month or year again we'll get the results in may okay for month or years we use in as preposition of time on is used on a particular day like on christmas day everybody gets gifts i was at work on sunday 
right so for particular day right so these were the three prepositions in on and at which could be used as preposition of time also and place also but you have to just refer to its meaning in the sentence okay aapko dekhna hai ki meaning kya de raha hai wo sentence mein now let's talk about prepositions of direction first of all we have seen preposition of place then we have seen preposition of time now let's talk about prepositions of direction again from the name itself you can get it that preposition of direction or movement also tell us where but usually direction right at you know in what direction right like some prepositions of directions are to at towards through into over up down a flying saucer just flew over that building so over here is although it is telling us the place but exactly kya bata raha it is telling us the direction that in which direction that saucer is going okay so prepositions of direction tell us the direction not the exact place but the direction in which the thing is going okay so this was preposition of direction now let's talk about prepositions of cause or purpose right you all know the meaning of cause that why something happened okay when we use prepositions such as for of with by from through to in certain ways they denote cause or purpose ki koi cheez kyun hui right the purpose of that thing the reason for that thing like i need money for rent okay now in this sentence if you read what do you get right he that person needs money why for paying rent so here the preposition for is showing us the cause of him needing money right right so it is showing us the cause or purpose right so for is preposition of cause or purpose so these prepositions tell us cause or purpose right so students these were our four kinds of prepositions on the basis of their functions right preposition of place preposition of time direction cause and purpose right students now we are going to talk about collocations now what are these let's see students collocations actually is you know certain group of words which are used like it's a habit of it's our habit to use them that way like certain nouns adjectives verbs are generally used with specific prepositions kuch aise nouns adjectives or verbs hain that they are always used with prepositions certain prepositions in such a way that there have be, they these have become fixed ways of using these words okay so we use these as collocations means it means that they are used together always like fixed ho gaya unka way some of the nouns adjectives and verbs are used with these specific prepositions and they are always used that way so we use them as collocations collocations means when group of words are used habitually hamesha wo waise hi use hote hain okay now let's see some of the collocations first of all let's see noun plus preposition fondness for grasp of hatred of hope for interest in love of need for participation in reason for respect for so these are the collocations which are used always as noun plus preposition okay these are always used this way ye hamesha aise use hote hain with these prepositions adjective plus prepositions afraid of angry at aware of capable of careless about familiar with fond of happy about interested in and jealous of again all these words when you'll notice and you'll try to find uh, you know make sentences out of these you will find out that they are always used this way okay afraid of is always used uh, of is always used with afraid like afraid ke sath hamesha aap of use karte ho right so adjective plus prepositions these are the collocations now let's talk about verb plus preposition which prepositions we use with verb Apolog- apologize for ask about ask for belong to bring up care for find out prepare for study for and talk about okay so again all these are the collocations these uh, verbs are always used with mostly with these prepositions i hope you have got the meaning of collocations collocations are like certain prepositions are always used with certain verbs or nouns adjectives right they are always used together so that is collocation jab aap saath mein hamesha unko fixed way mein use karte ho right habitual way mein that is collocations prepositional phrases let's see what they are these are the ones that is made up of preposition its object adjectives or adverbs 
ओके दैट मीन्स दीज फ्रेजेज राइट दीज आर मेड अप ऑफ प्रपोजिशन ऑब्जेक्ट एडवर्ब्स और एडजेक्टिव लाइक भारत मेक्स ब्यूटिफुल पेंटिंग्स ऑन द कंप्यूटर सो ऑन द कंप्यूटर इज द फ्रेज एंड इट इज बिगिनिंग विथ ऑन दैट मीन्स प्रपोजिशन एंड हैविंग नाउन इन इट राइट सो दीज फ्रेजेज आर मेड अप ऑफ प्रपोजिशन उनका ऑब्जेक्ट एडजेक्टिव और एडवर्ब्स ओके दीज आर द फ्रेजेज फ्रेजेज यू ऑल नो सम ऑफ द वर्ड्स ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स मेकिंग सेंस बट नॉट कंप्लीट सेंस राइट इट कैन हैव फंक्शन ऑफ एन एडजेक्टिव और एन एडवर्ब लाइक अगर एडजेक्टिव है सो इट विल मॉडिफाई अ नाउन एंड विन आंसर विच वन लाइक लुक एट द लेडी इन द ब्लू ड्रेस सो इट इज मॉडिफाइंग लेडी हेयर द फ्रेज इज इन द ब्लू ड्रेस ओके सो इन द ब्लू ड्रेस इज मॉडिफाइंग लेडी इन एडवर्ब इट विल मॉडिफाई अ वर्ब can be identified by asking how when why or where like the poor man sat beside the fence so where did he sit sat where beside the fence so beside the fence will be prepositional phrase as this phrase is starting with preposition and it is also having fence as a noun okay so these phrases are having prepositions adverbs or adjectives and their objects okay these are the phrases group of words making sense but not complete sense so students this is how we have completed the chapter prepositions their classifications and all go through the chapter students if any doubt you can ask me do try the back exercises see you all in your next class take care students thank you